Holy shit tards, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us tonight on We Are Paradox Media's Late Night in the Rockies. We all got kicked the F out. We were no longer here in the Omniverse where we expected to be. We were just kicked out and nobody knew where anybody else was. So, welcome back, Chris. Yeah, uh, oh my it's goodness. just so weird that it, you know what, it actually even kicked us out. So, it's just weird. It was so weird, and everybody's been coming through. Your speaker's not working. What's going on? Speaker's not working. Well, it is now. Um, but, yeah, we haven't had that happen in a while, and it was so crazy because 
Um, this last weekend I was playing World of Tanks and I did get booted out several times. Then all of a sudden my computer just shut down. And so tonight I was trying not to think about it. But in the back of my mind I was thinking, <coughs> man, I hope my computer doesn't do this tonight. And lo and behold, it did. Um, but we're back in full effect. We got Psychic Chris Garcia. We're doing free psychic readings. And it's been amazing, I have to tell you. Thank you so much for being yeah. here tonight, Chris. You're so awesome. Yeah. And I love you, big brother. My big little brother. <laughs> I think, you know, I think it was, you know, I think BTO is having a good time on the other side. saying, so you know what? I'm just going to mess with electronics. He's like, what, are, what could I do right now? Forget about it, Butterfuko. I'm not fuck with your shit, Butterfuko. All right. Oh, I just want to say now hi, what? Becky. I now can... I know you can hear us, Becky. I know Hello, she's gonna message Becky. I know she's gonna probably message me. Give it a minute, cause cause she messaged me when I told her, I told her to kick this off, and I said strange, and then she mm. put a big eyeball like surprise, and then with a smiling face, watch. I give it a couple minutes. I know you can hear me, Becky. I know you're gonna te- message me. I see you, Becky. If you guys want to call in right now, you can call in at 970-335-9596. That's 970-335-9596. Please do because we did have people on hold and I haven't even gone back there to try to bring them back in because I'm like, who the fuck was on the line at the point that we, we got cut off? And it was during the middle, almost the end of a song, and I'm just like, what the hell? Like, my whole computer, not just the system as far as, like, you know, Windows and stuff like that, and your computer is still running, the <clears throat> whole freaking computer blinked off. And when I come back in, full fucking battery, like, what the hell is going on? Paratechnical issues? Because I think we're getting too close. What are your thoughts? Honestly, I got really think we got too close to the subject when mm-hmm. we were talking about it. Cool. And I think it was just like, okay, you want to talk about us? Conspiracy! <laughs> <clears throat> you know what I was going to say? This is for everybody, including you, Tessa, and Becky. You ready? Okay, here oh we go. God, Becky. I see dead people. <laughs> I see dead people. They don't really know they're dead, but they are. I still see them. I oh, see my God. Dead. Me too, dude. It's so weird. And people don't even realize that you're like, dude, did you just see that guy like walk right in front of that car and then he just fucking disappeared before he got hit? Like, no. Seriously, you didn't see that? Like, I totally saw that shit. I don't know. There's so much stuff going on, especially in our own houses. Like, I hear people coming in my room and I look up and there's nobody there. What the hell is going on? I think it's a thinning of the veil. I think (laughs) the end of times is happening. I think, Chris, you need to come live with me or I need to come live with you. Like, we need to get together, all of us, and form our own group. Kind of like a clan. You know, we can start our own cult, non-cult thing. <laughs> um, and get through this. Because, holy shit, Tars, this is insane. Together we're stronger, separated, we're weaker. That's what I think. I was going to say, I was going to say, mm-hmm. for Becky, you said our, that if I'm messing with spirits again, <laughs> no, I think the spirits are messing with us. I, I can uh-huh. really, uh, I just think that the spirits are just having fun. I think they're like, guess <clears throat> what? You would never believe, but right now, Chris Garcia and Tessa TNT are on air. Let's totally fuck their shit up. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Oh my God, we're oh, going to totally no, do it. <laughs> okay, you know what? You know what? I was just thinking too. Where on the on the movie where it's cut where it shows the the guys where they come as the white chicks and then they said I guess we can't oh. hang out and they're like yeah sure we can <laughs> and this is yeah. what I gotta say too we're gonna go shopping shopping <laughs> I'm gonna shopping for like six months of rice and beans y'all what what maybe oh some Vienna God. sausages and shit you know you never know what are you gonna hoard. Oh my, oh my god! I think they're gonna think. You know what? I'm. A, I, you know what? I can already hear some of the people. They're actually Aww. saying, "What the hell is Tessa and Chris having? Can we have some of that stuff?" <laughs> Someone's trying to call us. I can't see. All I see is a white box. It's kind of like 
a doorway to the other realm. Eventually. Oh, it's Mr. Mighty Man Wayne Fisher. All right, let's see. I tell you. I tell you. It's I getting you crazy. I'm crazy in the low, low. Oh. I tell you. It, it says he joined, but I don't see him anywhere. Oh, there he is. What, what in the butt? Welcome, oh, my name is. It's the first time I've used this thing from my phone in a long time. I hey, really... I like this of you. I see your your lower jaw, and it's <clears> quite <throat> manly. Hmm. I Christopher. Um, you look kind of well, buff because your I'll jaw think... is so big. Look at that shit. You see that, Chris? Yes, I see uh -huh. it. You know He's even got say? dimples. Uh, I was going to actually say, too, Christopher, I heard you in the chat, and he's like, what the hell happened to the speaker? I can't even log in. It's, it's everybody was talking in the chat that the damn Skype was bad. Ooh, it was so okay. bad. <clears throat> yeah, you said sounds... we beep a link because I don't know how to do it from phone. And you're talking and your face is frozen. I don't know what the fuck is happening, but I will just accept it. <laughs> you know what? I'm a... weird. It's uh, okay. crazy. That's what Becky said. Oh my god, Becky, look at Chris's butt. It's so big. He's like <laughs> one of those rap guys' girlfriends. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> it's just so I out can't. there. Yeah. <laughs> Becky, <laughs> is Becky here? I just heard somebody say hi. Was that Becky? That was not Chris. Who the fuck uh, said that? Did you hear that? Somebody said hi. I, that was not Chris. That I was heard... not you. That was not me. Who the fuck was that? Nobody else is in here but Christopher, you and me. Oh my god. Okay, so I actually heard that. Yeah. Hi. That was a female saying hi. Was that Penny, my friend that just died? Who the fuck was that? Because I got Christopher Wayne Fisher, <laughs> I got Chris Garcia, and I got myself. And there was a female that just said, hi. Mm -mm -mm. <gasps> what? Chris, who is it? I don't know, but you know what? I did feel like it's a female. That is so freaking weird. What the fuck? Who is that? <clears throat> is that Penny? I have a female guide, and plus you have a recently deceased person. Yeah, so I think that's Penny, dude. I don't think Penny knows she's <laughs> yes. dead because guess what? Okay, this is one of my worst nightmares, being in a car accident. And she was. Like, she was in a high-speed car accident. She was not wearing her seatbelt. She got flung out, and she died on scene. That is one of my worst fears. <clears throat> um, So I'm wondering, does she know she's dead? Her funeral was just, uh, I believe it was yesterday or the day before. I was supposed to be there, but due to all the COVID shit with my kids and doing homeschool, so on and so forth, different. Um, oh, my okay, God. Died, I'm so but, weirded out. Did you so, hear her? Yes. I was going to say okay. something. I got, like, something about the temples. I'm getting, like, temple pain. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Migraines? Yeah, like a migraine. Did she have yeah. migraines? I think she did have issues, and she had a lot, but I know her, and I've known she's gone through her tweaker trials and all this other shit. When she died, I believe she was on methamphetamines. I believe that's, like, when she went to pick up her boyfriend, they got high, they were coming back home, and they accidentally ran into this guy that was on his way to work. They all died at the same time, all of them. Um, but she was always such this bright and brilliant light and energy she was always so happy no matter how downtrodden or how hard things were she was always just <clears throat> she reminded me of a sprite or a fairy like she was always this really bright brilliant light you know what i mean yeah i feel bad yeah. i feel bad that i didn't go to her funeral but like i said i've been doing this covid shit for so long i am not about to go to somebody's funeral. Yes, I love you. Yes, I miss you. Yes, I'm sad you're gone. But I can't do that. I can't go there. I, I hope people showed up. Friend, uh, huh? Your friend will understand that you're staying safe. I think she does. Yeah, yeah. That's why I didn't feel <laughs> bad about it. The only reason I felt bad is because her mom was like, I wish all her friends would come out. And yes, we wish that all. Like for birthdays, for other things going on. We wish everybody would show up, but it's COVID, you know, and it's going back up again. 
it was going down. Now it's going back up. So people are staying away. I'm, I'm just <clears throat> hoping people showed up to show their respects. I know one of her mom. Okay, so Melanie is her mom's name. And she said uh, Penny had a dog. Um. And somebody was keeping her dog in their yard. And she said, because I posted her. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry this happened. Is there anything that Vernon and I can do to help? And she's like, if you can get a hold of whoever has her dog and let them know that I would love to have her dog and take care of it. She was such a good mom mm -hmm. and she was such a good dog mom. Like, I hope whoever has her dog, instead of being a selfish <clears throat> individual and being like, oh, this is Penny's dog. I got to keep it, that they would give it up to her mom because her mom is such a good mom. And she really always has been. And I know we all go through our different trials and tribulations, just like Penny did. Yeah. I feel so fucking bad for her. Like, I wish I could have been for her, like, there for her more. But I used to be a meth addict from the age of 20-whatever to 20-whatever. And I quit. And I can be around tweakers for a certain amount of time, but only so long because that little demon starts talking to you where you're like, I can't do this anymore. You know what I mean? And so yeah. I, even though she was a bright, happy light, and she had all this energy and, and I just love being around her. I couldn't go and hang out with her because I knew what it would lead to. And so I didn't do it because I know me and I know my downfalls and my, my addictions. And I do enjoy meth. Like for me, when I do meth, I feel normal I don't feel all twacked out and shit. I feel like a normal individual. Otherwise, I'm secluded in my inner shell, so on and so forth. But I don't do it anymore because I know where it goes. I've seen my sister do it, my little brother. I just found out this Easter, my brother was in the hospital for two weeks, and then he gets out and goes to see his ex-old lady, who used to be our <clears throat> across-the-street neighbor. Now she's like 74 or 76 years old goes over there to check on her and uh, tell her he got a stomach biopsy. This is not due to ulcers. This is due to some other shit. Like, this is different, right? Yeah. This is not ulcers. This could be cancer. Okay, so moving on from that, we got a caller, area code 865. Who are we talking to? We're talking to We're speaking with Craig. Hi, Chris. Hi. Tessa. Hi. Hello. <clears throat> How can I help you? Yeah, I've been going through a lot of crazy things here lately and trying to make up my mind if I should do some drastic changes. It's been very hard. Uh, you, I'm being told that you have to adjust to the changes. Um, I feel that for some reason I'm hearing the word, hold on, I'm hearing the word second choice. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Whatever second choice that you were thinking about, I'm being told to um, to do some background check on that, and then that's gonna make your decision. Uh, the five of cups came up, so there was a lot of loss that you were going through. <clears throat> I'm being told that there's church energy around you. I'm being told that you have prayed. I almost want to say that you have this kind of either pastor kind of energy. I it think he has an understanding, open on. energy where he doesn't and judge an people. achievement <clears throat> in the process of, um, of everything you're going through. And I'm seeing like aura. Yeah, I feel like he I'm doesn't judge beautiful. people. He understands them and accepts them and yes. is able to help them in that way. Because yes. he doesn't judge yes. them. No, he does not. And I see that too. And then the sun card says that you're a very bright spirit, bright person. You have good intentions. Um... Okay, and I just see that a sprite. there will <clears throat> that you are. Oh my God! Really, I can actually believe <laughs> I actually heard that. Sprite. You know what I actually heard. I actually what? heard the song for you. I'm shining like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> so I'm being told that you shine like bright like a diamond, and you do bring light up the room when you enter, because you have this kind of attitude of. You know how to make things from like sad to you just you just change the energy and the atmosphere is what I'm being told. Saint Michael came through and saying that he's cutting the cords of anything that is 
that doesn't serve you, <clears throat> and I'm being told that our Lord and Savior is proud of you. Um, okay, I'm getting, you know, weird. I heard a grandmother on the other side. Mm -hmm. um, but they're, they're just telling me that they're very supportive and they're um, very proud of what you're trying to do. In the sky. And, then, and then I got the letter S. I'm almost like, I don't know, but it's a Spanish name, but I'm, I can't say it in English. Um, th I can't think of it. No, it's a, it's a girl's name. Hmm. Like Sofa? Stefani? It's like, <laughs> yeah. Sophia? I don't know. Yeah, that's what I was Sophie. thinking. Sophie. Sophia. Sophie. Sophia. Ah, Sophie. Sophie for short. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. weird. Oh my God, my heart is fluttering right now. Uh, and you know what's weird is I'm we're talking to him. I'm burning up. Like I'm feeling like I'm hot. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, hot in I here, got that too. So I got this oh my weird. Goodness. I'm seeing seems like fire or something about fire. Or I don't know. It just I can't figure out what that is, but it's freaking me out because it's I'm like super burning. cool. Like it's not scary, oh, but it's super <clears throat> cool. But this is a very different sort of interaction yeah. that we've ever had. Like we feel the energy the heat the stuff going on like this is so different oh my goodness she's trying to say something what is she trying to say do you think chris oh my Why gosh yeah okay, she is you... trying to get a message through i think she's she's burning up she's waiting for her loved one i don't know if he he showed up or what i think she's she's jealous she's got some other shit going on She's waiting for him yeah. to come back. She thinks there's somebody else involved. Oh my gosh! What the crap? I was gonna ask you. Does any does anything resonate with what we're telling you? Because I was getting so much stuff, and then I just got this almost like this hot flash. But I'm the I'm, flusters, the vapors. Yeah. Who is that making? This sense? is awful. These hot flashes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I had them all like five minutes. <clears throat> Does this yeah. make any sense? Wow. Not you, Chris. The, the other car? guy. Yes. Oh my goodness. Uh, well, listen, I don't know if you realize who you're talking to, but this is Craig. Hey, Craig. Coast, paranormal. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> oh, I, I was just thinking I about you yeah. today. I was like, "Is Craig and Jason come back?" Like, I'm, I've been giving you guys a break and not bugging you because oh, I know like I Jason's into his new love life and never... shit, but. We're all a flutter, like we're all heated up and flustered. Like, what the fuck are you tapped into? Like, who is this? Is this somebody that is into you as far as trying to have a, a paranormal I'm romantic sorry. relationship with you and being all flustered and stuff? Or is this something else? Like, what is going on here? Could you explain to yeah, us? Because we're all burning, yeah, up. I'm burning up. Yeah. I'm burning up. <laughs> well, I, hate... I don't know. It's just like a, I've been having uh, some thoughts about someone in the past and everything that's come up. Plus, you know, my mother passed away two years ago and her birthday mm -hmm. Monday, and my dog just passed away. So <laughs> I was like, I've been in a really turmoil. Oh my goodness! Here lately. <clears throat> Maybe that's what it is. Is the turmoil that you're going through? Because I'm like burning up, like. Oh it's yeah, we're all like, like flustered. We need a it fan a right now. Of, there's a very, it's like yeah, I'm actually right now. The energy right now it's a very intense. And I just heard another like female talking. Pulse. Did you guys hear that female talking too? Besides me, there was another female that said yes, something. I, yes, I don't I know what the fuck that. she said, but it I heard her. He called. Yes. Oh my fucking god! She just said something again. She's like, yeah, right, right. Like I don't know what exactly she said, but she just <clears> said <throat> something, and I'm like, that was not me. That was not an echo of me. There is female on your tail, Craig. There's a female that wants you. So do you have like some sort of um, what do they call it? Uh, what is that called? The female spirit that is sexually driven, oh, heated. What is that called? Incubus. Incubus. Uh, uh, is that what that is, or is it something else? Succubus. Succubus. That's what it is. It's incubus is a male, succubus is a female. Oh my god. I'm being told that this female oh. is very strong. And the thing is, she's very sexual and mm -hmm. she's beautiful, but she's not. Succubus. She is. She's very. 
I'm She's trying to sub us. Yeah. It's eight <laughs> degrees outside, and this room was burning hot. Yeah, right and, here and it's like I, 61 I, degrees what? in I'm here, gonna... but it feels like 82. Like, this is not cool. Yeah, I believe this is a succubus. This is something not cool, and we all felt it. We all felt the heat off of it. We're all getting hot. This is not normal. This is something after Craig. Yeah, I'm going to ask you. Okay, I'm going to ask well, you. I have, you have you gone to the well, cemetery? Have you gone to uh, the cemetery? I was cemetery? in bed, and I felt something. Someone pulling the blanket and stuff down. I thought it was my cat, but cat no. wasn't in the room. <laughs> no. I'm being, oh told, I'm being asking you, did you go to the cemetery? Or do something like an investigation on the cemetery grounds? Because I'm seeing cemetery for some reason. I have in the past, yes. Okay, well then, that's probably something that you thought didn't follow you, but it's around. It's not like close to you, but I can feel it. And it did, and I'm seeing like a female with like in a silhouette. I'm seeing like with hair, like long hair. And it's a possibility that she's been on around you. She's a nasty bitch. And like, it's just so, I don't know. She's trying it's to just, feed off his energy. Up. And, and I don't know if it's just, I, I'm actually telling you, it's weird because uh, I'm being yeah. told that you need to stand your ground and you need, you need to, to cut do her off. Do not, right. do not give her the pecker. Do not give her the Wang Chung tonight. Don't do it. <clears throat> you know, they make you feel good. Okay. They make you want to do it. They make you want to do it. Don't do it. Cut her off. She's going to get pissed off. She's going to rage. Okay. She's going to do certain things. But cut her off because otherwise she's going to keep draining you. And you don't need that. Like, you're trying to heal from your injuries that you had. You could have died falling through that fucking roof, but you're still alive. Yeah. Don't let her eat you up. And that's what she's trying to do. She knows you're in a weakened state. You're not full-fledged. She's trying to feed off of you. Cut her off. Don't let her do it. And I know it's tempting because just as I am, like, it's been a long time since I've been in that realm. Don't let her do it. No matter how, <laughs> how pleasurable or whatnot that it may seem. And I'm serious saying this right now. Don't let her do it. Cut her off right now. Cut her off. Send her yeah. away and tell yeah. her no more. No more okay. shall you gather from me. You, you have to go away in the name of Jesus Christ or whoever you believe in. Send her away. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. this is uh, serious yeah, shit. Because, uh, yeah, serious. and it was so weird that, because before he called in, I didn't feel no heat. I'm, I'm, I'm literally burning up. I'm actually burning up. Like, this is the first time I've talked to you. I've talked to Jason. Like I sent him stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, but this is my first time, and I was just gonna say nice meeting you. Mm -hmm. But this is nice just so you. weird, dude. It's just. Do you feel I it too, Chris? Or am I wrong? Do you feel this? Honestly, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of if, I, if I, there's things that come up and I just kind of blow, rub, you know, just the miss, dismiss it and not really pay attention. When you yes, just don't pay attention to it, but you, but you do need your boundaries. Ignore you her. You to, do not give her any mm -hmm. energy whatsoever, especially when she's trying to get down in your uh, on your trodden rodden. You know, yeah. Send her yeah. away. Yeah. <laughs> uh-uh, really honey like boo-boo. That. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's real nice that you're trying to do that for me. I appreciate it. But get the fuck away. Like, you have to send okay, her I'm away. Gonna, okay, I can't really say. Uh, I'm going to take one thing. I can't really say too much, but I'm just going to say it in small, small little words, okay? Because I know there could be kids. This, there could be kids. Did you okay, I'm gonna... well, Go I'm ahead, Chris. Here you What did you say? Go ahead, Chris. We couldn't hear you before because Christopher was trying to talk. So go ahead, Chris, and say what you were saying. <clears throat> but I was gonna, I was gonna tell you. I I don't want to say too much because we don't because I know there's a lot of people listening. But the succubus or demons do like certain like certain fluid. That's all I'm yeah, gonna tell you. Yeah, succubus so and don't incubus get, don't... they feed off that uh, human fluid, and and people have said yeah. that in cold cases and such like that. Yes, there's blood, but there's other human fluids oh. that are found throughout this I'm case. Gonna, and they I'm, do glow with the that. same, you know, you, you spray this yeah. Lumina and whatnot on yeah. it. 
and then things glow. It's not just blood, it's human fluid. So it could become, it could be blood, it could be perspiration, it could yes, be oils yeah. from your body. <laughs> yeah, you know, this is an adult, this is an adult show. That's why I'm, I mark it as extent because yeah. we can talk freely about this stuff and not like I'm trying to be perverted, yeah. but this is true yeah. life, real shit. That is happening. And this is all over the yeah. place. Like, as far as crime scenes, so on and so forth. Like, this shit is immaculate. This shit does matter. And and things can actually gain energy from your semen, your cum, your blood, your sweat, whatever you're putting yeah. off of your body. Yeah. And there's certain stress situation, whether it's happiness, glorification, uh, you know, uh, what is that? aspiration when you are coming uh euphoria all these different things that are coming yeah. out of your body and it's not like a full-fledged fluid situation it comes out in a kind of gaseous different thing way. and then it you yeah. know goes onto mm -hmm. the curtains and whatever else it is still there and it will still show up they are trying and to and drain us of that gives them energy yeah, they miss that. They miss that human glory of having that. They can't have it anymore. So they're trying to eat it all up. Dude, they know that you fell through the roof. You almost fucking died. I cannot believe you didn't fall on your head. You fell on your leg instead. And so that's what you're going through. But they know yeah. that you're weakened by that. And they're picking up on that. And they're like, hey, let's try to see what we can get from him. Let's see what we can yeah. do. But I would say just do that. Uh, makes uh, my heart so flutter. I feel freaked out for you uh, so bad. Uh, I've been being taught that you need to do a cleansing, dude. That's what I got. You need to seriously do a cleansing. I know that you ignored it, but just do a cleansing and use some Palo Santo. Yeah. And also I heard the word garlic because they don't like garlic. Sweet so grass, put some... white yeah. sage, whatever you can use that you believe in. Yeah, because you do need that stuff, dude. Seriously, no joke. You yeah. need, this is not a joke. And I don't know what, Christopher, if you felt all that heat, dude, but I was... I'm oh, my God. That was bad. And that was like 60 degrees in here. I'm like, dude, it's fucking hot. What the fuck was that? That is so crazy that we all felt that. I have to say... And then I belched the same time you did. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was just the Mountain Dew. It wasn't bad manners. <laughs> Good Mountain Dew. <laughs> yeah. uh, just, well, uh, you know, you guys know the first weird, part of it when you talk about who I, type of person I am. And I appreciate that. Yeah, you're yeah. so calm and cool and collected. And, and this this thing is trying to feed off of you. Because there is yeah. negative energy. Like, you're not used to not working. You're not used to not doing certain things. And they're like, oh, yeah. Feeding grounds right here is like, you know, white sharks or whatever, <laughs> circling, ready to feed on you. They're like, oh, yeah, we got a prime suspect here. I mean, it's so hard to get out of that that divot that you're in, you know. It's so mm. hard to get out of that because mm, yeah. you are broken and you know you are broken and you're trying to get out of it. And that can cause other things emotionally and such. And, and it is a hard prospect and a hard place to be. And they do circle like ravens and shit. It's, it's so creepy. <clears throat> I've been through it too. Like I broke my fucking foot off. I thought it was just, you know, dislocated. And I'm like, oh, let's just call a fire department over and they can come over and look and, and they can relocate it. And this lady like shook my shit apart and she's like, oh yeah, it's definitely broken. I'm like, yeah, the fuck it is. And if you do that again, I'm going to punch you right off in your face. Um, but yeah, they put me in the ambulance, took me to the hospital, gave me some fentanyl, even though I was afraid of it because my uncle just died from being overdosed by fentanyl. Um, I'm so mm -hmm. glad I had it. And they're like, man, you're moving around like nobody else does. Like I went from this uh, bed to the other bed and, and, you know, I jumped around. I'm ready to get my surgery. I'm ready to get the shit happening. All they did was wrap something around it and then... I'm walking on crutches to my door and I slip and fall onto my fucking leg. Not once, but twice. Like I even <laughs> fell on it when I was in the house. Like I'm trying to get up and I slipped again and fell on my fucking leg and it hurts so bad. Like it's such this, I don't know if you guys have ever felt it, but it goes right into the soul of you. Like where it's just like, Oh, oh my yeah. God, that yeah. hurts so <clears throat> fucking bad. It was the worst pain ever, and I felt so bad the way I lashed out at my family members. I'm so sorry that I did that, but it really hurt. <laughs> I'm like, it's not your fault. But you know what was so weird? You know what I was going to tell you, Chance? You were You're glitching. So glad that they did put you on pain medicine then. No, yeah, not yet, but go ahead, Chris. 
we were glitching for a second. Like, you were talking in her little fuzz, and I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, really? I mean, I think mm, all man. night's been just crazy. Really Paranormal deficiencies. I tell you. Uh, but thanks, Craig. And then hopefully the reading made sense and what Tessa said, because I've never talked to you. And, uh, yeah, you have a lot of energy and you need to do cleansing. You need to put some boundaries on this because it's, Mom, yeah. This well, I think he's really smart. <clears throat> he knows what he needs to do. He knows what's going on. He just needs somebody to say, hey, this is really happening. You're not crazy. Like, Mom, these succubuses, so on and so forth. Okay, I got my monkey son here with me, but yeah. these things are really actually happening. That's how I feel. They're really there. They're really yeah. trying to take <clears throat> advantage of you because they know that you're at a disadvantaged state. And they're trying to take advantage of it. Don't let them. Yeah. <clears throat> don't let them. Yeah, don't let them. And, uh, and I was going to say, for any, for anybody that wants to contact me, you can reach me at uh, Chris Psychic Garcia or my personal cell phone, 210-974-3470. Again, 210-974-3470. And, uh, and I just want to say. Craig, okay. I don't want you to leave because yeah. I'm just wondering, like, okay. what else have you experienced? Like, what else has been going on? Do you feel like this is because yeah, you did have more. this injury or do you feel like this is something that was already there? Cause I know you guys have had experiences before, but do you think they're, they're honing in that they can take advantage or what do you think? Well, I, think honestly, just... well, you know, I, told you, I think I told you this past we've had a little girl that, or a little Shadow figure that's week in a house all this time. Yeah, so I'm not sure um, if that's it. What is that noise? part of it? That was weird. I heard knocking. I heard it too. One, two, three. Was it three for it. you? Was two? that you, Tessa? No, it was not me. I was turning up my headphones when I heard it, and it sounded kind of like a keyboard yeah. knocking, but I heard one, what? two, three. Christopher, is there somebody around you or somebody? Because I hear him knocking. No. Uh, there's no body awake, so it's in spirit. Just okay. don't open the window or the door, or whatever, Chris Garcia, because generally when it's a knock of I'm three, out, it's a demon. Yeah. So don't open the door when it's like one, two, three, knock. That is not a good knock. Do not open yeah. Dot, dot, okay. dot, 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 dot. I do that to my friends, so it's not three or two or whatever. It's a whole, you know, collage of knocks. Yeah, that, to me, just, is yeah. something trying to make you open the door and let them in, even though you don't say, yes, you're welcome to come in. As soon as you open the door, that's their welcome sign, and they're going to come in. So don't do that. Yeah, okay. just don't open. And hopefully that makes sense. And Have you had that happen, to Craig? <clears throat> have I what? Have you had that happen where it's like knock, knock, knock? Yeah, I've heard some knocking uh, mm -hmm. just the other day, and also heard somebody call, so nobody else in the house heard it. Interesting. <clears throat> Interesting. Well. So, how know, are you feeling? Like, are you about to go back to work, or how do you feel? What's going on with your physical body at this point uh, after the whole breakage? Uh, That's hardcore shit for well, real. I thought I, was, I thought I was doing good until uh, this past week and then uh, the plate they put in to hold the fibula bone back together. I uh, smelled the hurt and was swelling. Oh my gosh. So I had to go back to the doctor in Monday morning. Did you do, well, like, physical the, therapy I'll and stuff, therapy. or did you just go, like, straight back to yeah, work? Yeah, I've been in physical therapy. Since, yeah. Man, that's hard. Mm -mm. Oh, my goodness. I can't even stand more than five minutes. Yeah. You got to be, like, a, you know, leader or instructor or whatever on the job site from this mm -hmm. point forward. Like, you're not the one supposed to be in the attic or the basement or garage or wherever the fuck you're supposed to be 
it should be somebody else and you're supposed to be the person leading the whole trial and tribulation. I don't think you should be the one climbing mm. up there. And I I don't feel like you should have been doing that anyways before what happened to you happened. Like you should not have been up there. You should should have been the leader of the group and they didn't realize it till then. You know what I mean? I feel bad that that yeah. happened. You should not have gone through that, but I'm so glad you fell on your leg instead of your head. <laughs> I'm seriously so happy that that happened. Because had that happened, I would be so fucking sad right now. Man, another one of my friends lost. What the fuck? Um, I'm so glad we didn't have to go through that. But still, it's so fucking hard getting through this healing gestation and yeah. going back to a normal <clears throat> job. Like, you cannot go back to your normal job. You have to... Like, for you, I think you need to be the person surveying the job and taking care of that everybody's doing their job, but you're the one observing. That's what you should be doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, just just take care of yourself and uh, take it easy. That's what I got. Appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice to meet you, you too, sir. Nice to see you too, Craig. Now I have the eagles in my head. Take it easy. Easy, take it easy. Yeah, you know that song, right? <laughs> I love it. Man, we got uh, at least twenty minutes before we go out. Back on the Yeah, if you want to hang. Uh, if you want to hang out till we get another caller, that'd be awesome. Okay. I had to repeat myself because I was muted. So just so you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It's yeah, just it's crazy. been a while since me and Jason have been on there with you, haven't it? I know. I was just thinking about that yesterday. I was like, man, I miss Jason and Craig. And I haven't been wanting to bug him because I know, know he has a new romantic partner. And they're like traveling and do all, doing all these other things. And I'm like, mm-hmm. man, I don't want to interrupt that. But I know you like you're over there doing other things other than what they're doing. Yeah. So I'm like, I need to call them. So I was just thinking about that last night. So don't think I haven't been thinking about you because I have. I'm so glad you called in tonight. Oh my god, I can't okay. believe you did. Oh. I'm glad yeah, you I called. tried calling in earlier, but <clears throat> uh, I didn't want to talk about things. And- with my wife sitting out here. <laughs> right? I know. It's so hard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd like to talk about stuff, but I can't right now. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Are you friends with me on Facebook, by the way? I was going to ask you. Are you friends with me on Facebook? Uh, yeah, I'm on Facebook. Uh, <clears throat> I think so, uh, okay, and, well, uh, you... also some cheap Responded to that message you sent. Yeah. As well. On Messenger. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, because I, mean, I love being on Tesla's show. I mean, I've been on other shows too, but me and Tesla, we go way back. And uh, it's, it's just crazy how we were talking about all that stuff earlier. And we had a few callers. And well, even Scratchers over talking. here saying, I was left in Sprinter <clears throat> Chat moment trying to figure out what happened. We all got yes. kicked out. We all got yes. booted. The whole yes. thing was done. The computer was done. Like it was blacked out. Had to restart. Try to get back into the show. I'm so grateful that we're still in the same mm-hmm. chat room. It seems that is so weird because generally, even if you have some sort of buffering or something, it will send you to a different chat room. Yeah. But here we are still in the same chat room. This is so freaking weird. I don't get it. So weird to me. <clears throat> what the hell? you stuttering at your in your video because it was doing that a few minutes ago nah, I'm not doing a video <laughs> am I like my my phone is off no I'm not doing a video <laughs> yeah, your, camera, your, your audio is stuttering oh. what? I don't know I'm not even gonna try to answer these questions <laughs> It's, it's beyond me. <laughs> I, I, I think it's been just weird all night long. I mean, and like me and Tessa were talking night, about that, no, about that, a, about night. that Asian girl, the Asian grandma that just, they beat her up and they didn't do shit. I was like, really? Even my we cousin. About- okay. So my cousin who I never met or knew, 
But my cousin Latanya, who is my um, African American cousin, she's talked to me about my Asian cousin who was in Washington State. She was on wow. a main strip. She got picked up by a truck that was green. She got taken away and was never seen again. She had a kid, I think. I don't think she had two, but one. And she was a very serious mother. And these people took her away yeah. and murdered her. And nobody has seen her ever again. So we're trying to figure yeah. it out. I have posted it on my page. If you guys want to look and try to do any sort of dousing or um, pendulum or whatever you can do to try to find her... I don't think she's alive. I feel like she's dead. I feel like she was raped and murdered. So I think she's gone. Um, but if any of you could help me pick up on where she is at so we can find her, put her to rest, and let her kids know that she did not abandon them. She was taken. And she was murdered and raped and put into a hole in the ground. She would never have left <coughs> her kids. You know what I mean? She would have never have done yeah. that. And she was taken against her will. She would have never done that to her kids. She loved her kids. She loved her family. She would have let them know where she's at. She was taken by a green truck. Can you pick up on anything with that, Chris? I'm, I'm at, curious. I'm looking at it. I can't find it. I'm trying to look at the post uh, right now. Let me look on my page. I can send this to you real quick. Yeah, because I'm looking, looking for it on your wall, but I'm not looking. I can't find it. Oh, she is so sister. beautiful, so gorgeous. Um, okay, I'm gonna ask you a question. Is she? Uh, does she have a hat on? She could have had a beanie or toque or whatever you want to fucking call it. But um, what's her name? Holy shit! Hold on. I want to say Nikki, but yeah. I can't. And it's weird because it's not even on my page <laughs> where I shared it. Where the fuck is it? That's what I'm looking for. What's her name? Holy shit, Tars. Let me um try mm. to get to the TT. Where Fuck. the hell? I'm looking for it on your feed, but I don't... Because when you were talking to Craig, I didn't want to interrupt you, so I was looking for it. No, don't worry about uh, that. <clears throat> uh, the only thing... Okay, I'm thinking of a bridge. What's that? Bridge? What was that? I heard bridge. I heard a whistling. I heard bridge from you. Okay. I'm reading bridge. Oh, Alyssa McLemore. <clears throat> A-L-Y-S-S-A. Last name M-C capital L-E-M-O-R-E. -E. Missing since 4909. Namus number 9695. Five foot one, 130 pounds, date of birth, 72387. Brown eyes, last seen in Kent, Washington. Native American, Alaska Native. Any info regarding the case, please contact Kent PD at 253-856-5800. Like, this woman was so beautiful and... She was gone without any, any <clears throat> anybody suspecting that somebody took her. Oh my yeah, goodness! Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing, Let I me see if I can life. share this with you guys, yeah, so you I can mean, see you her can face. Share. Maybe that will help. What are you doing, Boog? You still drinking your orange or apple juice? Honestly, I just feel like there's something it's about. Like I like like being kid, like I got the word kidnapped, and then it's weird. I, I think she was. Like, I think she was kidnapped <clears throat> by somebody she knew. She was in a, a green place. truck with a camper on the back. I think they took her, raped and killed her, and then put her somewhere in the forest up there in Washington. But um, I'm about to share this with you guys. If you can send it through Messenger, because I'm trying to look on your Facebook and I'm not, I'm not seeing it. I'm but trying I to send it through uh, Weird Paradox Media. Hold on one second. We're on a call. This is where I should send it. Oh my goodness! What the fuck? Hmm. Weird. I'm gonna try to find it again. Hmm. 
when my cousin Latanya came to Phoenix, Arizona, we actually went to the lookout <laughs> point to talk to her, and we actually got messages. And she did tell us that she was not alive; she was gone. Um, you know, when I got mountains, do you all have mountains? Work. Uh... Yeah, we have area. mountains in Washington, and we have mountains in Colorado, and even in Arizona, but yeah, we have mountains. Okay, okay I don't know. Okay, that's weird. Why well, don't hear Oregon? Mm -hmm. They could have gone down to Oregon. It's not too far from there, but here we go. I'm sending you, and you will see her face. She's so beautiful. Such a small little um, beautiful individual, and she had a son that she loved and cared about. She would never leave him, no matter how much she's tricking or trying to do drugs or whatever. She would have been there for her son, but she disappeared. Like, nobody could find her. Nobody could message her. Nobody could um, call her. Do you see this picture of her, Alyssa McLemore? I just sent I it in the it. Skype. Oh, no wonder, because I was looking through Messenger. I was like, what? Yeah, look like, at what Skype. Is... <clears throat> I mean, through Messenger. Hold on, let me see. I'm looking through it right now. Uh, what the hell is it? Uh, no, I'm not even seeing it. Not on my end. I'm, I'm using the other phone. Um, well, it's there in the, yeah. in the Skype. It's probably because the Skype is being slow because there's people typing. I don't see it, but um, uh, let me send it to you through Messenger too. Oh, I heard yeah. a bloop, so maybe you could see it now. <clears throat> uh, here we go. You said you frozen, you frozen bitch. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, <laughs> good God, I don't want to do a message. Oh my gosh, now I have to delete that. It was doing my voice recording. <laughs> no, remove, unsend. Okay. Here we go. Here's the pick for you. Oh my goodness. I feel so bad for her because I know, like, number one, she was mom. She went out to make her money, whether it was for drugs, food, whatever. She was doing what she could do to raise her kid, and then she disappeared. But she was like, a lot of Native American women that go dis disappeared, like, people don't look for them. People think they just ran away or they did something else. They don't care about the kids. They don't care about anything else. But they do. That's their number one inclination is their kids, their way of life, their future, their prospects. Their, a lot of people call it their lineage. Oh, my God. Yeah. Like, for this to happen to her... Oh my goodness. So I sent it to you on Messenger Ooh, just right now. Here. Can you see it? Yes, Tess, I was going to say something. I got the word ranch. Mm hmm. She's Somebody took her out on a ranch where they know where to put her. If they go out there and look, they will find her. And I'm so glad it's on a ranch instead of in the middle of the fucking national forest. It'd be so much harder to find her. In a national forest, then to find her on a ranch that was owned by somebody. Even if this guy that picked her up was a caretaker on this ranch, if he buried her there, they will still find her. If it was in the middle of a national forest, that's totally different. You know what I mean? Told I'm getting chills and I haven't even said nothing. I'm getting Did you see like her face on Messenger? Yes, Alyssa? yes, and okay. I'm getting chills. But Thank I, you. but the thing is, I got chills. I'm being told that something's gonna stand out like a bowl, or something that's gonna be above, and I'm seeing a bunch of leaves, and I'm actually getting chills. Like I'm gonna cry because, like her body is. Oh my Me God, too. I felt so bad because my cousin's like, "What do Ooh, you feel?" And I'm that's... like, "I don't want to say this. I feel like she's not alive. She is dead." She cares about her kids. She never thought this would happen because she trusted this person <clears throat> that picked her up. She thought of this person as a friend and this person took advantage and fucking killed her. And so now yeah. she's no longer there for her kids. Her Why number one thing that? was being there for her kids. And I feel like she was taken away too soon. What do you think? I was going to ask her. Honestly, yes. I was going to tell you, is there anybody working on this case? Dude, 
I, uh, my cousin has tried to do it. So many people have tried to do that. And they're like, unless you're like an original member of her family, like her sister, her mom, her aunt, her uncle, whoever, you cannot do this. So that's her cousin. Her cousin cannot state a case for her. Nobody else is really doing anything. So she's like stuck in a standstill. I try to do something with her. And um, I don't know if you know the psychic that has the bear claws and bear fang and shit. Um, I can't think of his name right now, but. He's like, unless she asked me or the directive member of the family asked me, I cannot help. And that's where it's like, fuck, if we could have cousins or brothers mm -hmm. or whoever ask for help and yeah, you would because, help uh, I was solve about, the fucking issue. But you're like, oh, well, it I has have, to be a mother or father or aunt and uncle or whoever asking the question for me to help. <laughs> like, seriously, do you feel like that should be how it is? Or this is just an excuse no. not to do it? I don't know. It you know pisses what, me off. You know what's weird. I know I'm gonna keep this number, and I'm gonna call them. I might not be do family, it, please, please. I I do, yeah. Because I've done cases where I've called, and I get, and it's not the first, and it won't be the last time. I know they interrogated me one time, and they're like, "How the hell do you know this?" And I'm like, "Hello." Well, I don't think she was, like, totally inebriated. I think she was, like, functionally a little buzz. And so she's feeling the high of the buzz. She's going along with what she's doing every day. And she gets picked up by somebody that she trusts and believes in. And all of a sudden she's like, hey, uh, that was the turn off to my house. Where are you going? Where are we going? You know, trying to figure out where the fuck she's going. Because he's not taking her home. He's taking her somewhere else. And that's not fucking cool. She's being victimized at that point. She's being abducted and abused. Future plan of sexually abusing her and then fucking killing her. And that's what their plan was. I actually got that he's old. he was older than her. He was. I think he was at least I like 20 or 30. Yeah, 20 or 30 years older that, than her. Yeah, 25 is what I got. And you know what? There was a cab driver that used to pick her up all the time. And I think he finally, and this happened before with another case. I think he picked her up for that last time to take her somewhere and then <clears throat> decided to do something. Like nobody would ever think anything about that because she's always been here. She's always done that. So yeah, we're going to do it again. Nobody will ask questions until like three or four weeks later. I feel so bad for her because she planned to be home with her baby and she couldn't. And my cousin yeah. Latanya asked me about this. We went up to the lookout point in Phoenix. And I used my ghost box and stuff like that. And I'm like, sister, even though she's my cousin, I call a lot of females in my life sister. I'm like, sister, I'm telling you, I don't think she's here anymore. I think she's gone. I think she's on the other side. She wants us to find her. But how the fuck do, do we do that from here? You know, so we got a lot of different directives and stuff. But... Um, it was so intriguing and interesting, really. It's very, very, very sad because I hate for that to happen to anybody. But I do believe that she was giving us directives. She was saying, hello, I love you. She was giving points. So I'm hoping I can go back on those videos and check it out and see what I missed that I didn't absorb the first time. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah. It's pretty intriguing. So I we are at awesome. the end of our time, Chris. <clears throat> Can you tell our friends and listeners how to find you and um, how to get a reading from you? If they want to reach me, you can reach me at Chris Psychic Garcia or my personal cell phone, 210-974-3470. Again, 210-974-3470 or Garcia187 Love at gmail.com. <clears throat> thank you so much well, again for being on the show tonight I want to talk longer but I don't want to take advantage of my time with you but thank you so much again for being our friend and being there to do our readings and, and helping us to find directors to find these people like, like our friend that is lost out there like I said I don't believe she's still alive I believe she's dead she's out there somewhere in the Washington Oregon or, or whatever forest I hope we can find her to give peace and rest to her family. That's what I really, really want. Yeah. 
I will keep you updated guys, when I do work on this page. Okay, I will keep you updated. Thank you again, Mr. Psychic Chris Garcia, for being on the show with us tonight. And I want to um, direct you Mondays, generally on Mondays, we'd have coffee and a chat with Sleepy Dave Davenport. On Fridays, we have 1028 Live with. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Uh, our friend, Mr. Oh my god, I can't even think of his name right now. I want to say Wednesdays, Redneck Ghost in with Lynn Dorman. That's not true. So we got Sleepy Dave Davenport and we got Doc Skinner on Friday nights, 1028 Live. Thank you to our sponsors. Without you, we could not really do this. We got Mr. Jim Morris, Mr. Ken McDowell, Del Elson, Mia Savage, as well as our musical host. Mr. Uh, Roy Washington. Don't forget, you guys, we're all in this together. Together we can make the world a little better. And together, my friends, we are Paradox Media because without you, there is no us. And the hellhounds are just going crazy out here. Oh, my poor Zoe Wu. She's in heat, and so all the dogs are trying to mount up on her. I feel so bad for her. Happy birthday, BTO! Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's BTO's birthday! Boop, boop. Oh my gosh! I still can't believe he's gone, but BTO was a big member of our family. I'm sorry, you were muted that. I'm like, Chris, if you want to say it again, go ahead, because I, I had you muted. Go ahead and say it again. Happy birthday, BTO. It is a very happy birthday to BTO. I still can't believe he's gone. He's the same age as me, and I can't believe he's gone due to kidney or liver or whatever fucking failure he had. It is really beyond me. But thank you to all of our friends on We Are Paradox Media's Facebook, Spreaker, Twitter, Periscope, iHeartRadio, and Weber Beyond the Omniverse. You are tonight, and everybody is wondering, Beyond the Omniverse? Yes, that's BTO. Beyond the Omniverse. Oh my gosh. The dogs are going crazy because Zoe's in heat and so... Hey, her... Knock it up! Motherfuckers. Don't forget, you guys, we're all in this together. Together we can make the world a little better. And together, my friends, we are Paradox Media because without you, there is no us. If you would like to join us on the Skype after party, look me up at Tessa dot n dot thomas three zero or give us a call at nine seven zero three three five nine five nine six until next time night night love and light take care of my views and we'll see you back here same time same